I'm a very busy girl and I need everything around me to contribute to my maximum output during the day. I love when things look pretty and beautiful aesthetically. So I love to make sure that I'm surrounded with beautiful, aesthetically and beautifully placed things. Not necessarily expensive, but I like to organize stuff because it inspires me. A simple scent might inspire me. A simple book might inspire me. So using old stuff, mixing with new, and creating a nice nook where I can sit and enjoy that space is very important for me. In the mornings, I do all my phone calls that have to do with my shoe factory in Italy. I take care of in my entire shoe business. I call my logistics centers. After that, I work on spiritual gloss. I own a jewelry brand as well, in case that you're new here. And then after that, I'll sit down. I'll do all my YouTube content. I will film, I will edit. And after I'm done editing everything, I am off my phone and I don't touch it again until the next day. And I really try to be done by 2.30, 3 p.m. And the reason why I do this is because for me, I am a people's person and I love spending time with people. I love spending time with my mom, with my friends, with people that are important to me that I love. And I'm not one of those type of people that if you go to lunch or dinner with me, I'm gonna be on my phone. Like once I'm done with work, I don't even look at that phone until maybe like before I go to bed at night. If not, I'll just pick it up back the next day. And that means that I require a lot of me time. A lot of me time doesn't mean that I am going to just lay on the couch and veg out me time for me is organizing things around the house in a way that they are pleasing to my eyes. They're aesthetically pleasing. And that doesn't mean that the things around the house need to be expensive. They just need to be positioned in a really beautiful way. So I spend a lot of time in my afternoons just changing things around in my house and making sure that it's a, a little corner where if I sit down there, I can get inspired. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We are going to dress up my dining room. Good morning. Today is an exciting day because we are going to go pick the fragrance of my new place. I want to make sure that I have just such a pleasant smell every time that I walk in the house and every time I am here. So we are gonna go to the Joe Malone Boutique in Miami Beach and we are going to do this special service that they have that is to pick the scent, the perfect scent of your home. This is a very big apartment. It has two floors and it has four bedrooms, which means that I need some proper power in order to just have a really good smell all throughout the house without it being too much. So we are going to go do that now. It's a beautiful day today, beautiful weather, and I've already done my hair, my makeup, I've already had breakfast. I want to show you guys what I'm wearing today. I am wearing my favorite style of pants you guys know that i love this type of pants these are from sui studio and they're like in a forest green i'm wearing it with a white t-shirt with shoulder pads i love it and i am wearing new jewelry that you guys and i am wearing new jewelry that you guys haven't seen yet because i picked it up this morning and it's all in rose gold but i will show it to you after So I'm gonna do this service right here. It's called Scent Your Home. Discover how to decorate with scent with expert tips on home fragrance. So basically they have this seating area. I'm going to sit down right here. I called in earlier and I said that I was gonna be coming in. So you make like a little appointment. I mean, you can just walk in if you want to, but I spoke to Dana. So Dana, I told her that I wanted to create a scent for my bathroom and for my bedroom and for my living room. So she basically put aside different scents just based on questions that she asked me and answers I gave her. 
So we're just gonna look at that right now. You come here and you basically have each and every single one of their candles, which is super cool. So, you know, it's just a matter of taking it and smelling it. I like scents that are soft and a little bit sweet, but not too sweet, not kind of like vanilla-ish, more like fig, you know, something uh, a little soft. And I'm normally not a big fan of oud, so I am just being mindful of the things that I really like and the things that I don't like, that way we can arrive at the perfect smell because they have so many different options this one is peony and blush suede it smells good it's soft now i smelled a new scent that i i mean it's not a new scent but i had never smelled it before is this one called mir and tonka you guys oh my god this smells like heaven it's just a very it's like not too strong it's actually very soft but it's it has character and i don't really know what mir and tonka smells like so i am going to show you something super cool because one of the questions that i have for example this is mir and tonka and then there's another one that I really loved that she showed me and it's this one called Pomegranate Noir. Oh my god, this is like, I am so torn between these two smells. I would like to know what does pomegranate smell like on its own? I would like to know what does, you know, Mir smells like on its own and Tonka. So, I want to show you this because this is so, so cool. So you come over here, here in this section here, and here you have essential oils. And each oil has the name of the scent. So we're gonna sit here and I am going to smell mirror. I really wanna smell the pomegranate. Where's the tonka? Here's the tonka. And this just makes it so much easier for you to kind of see what you like and what you don't like because there's so many variations this collection right here is their new townhouse collection and it smells so delicious i love the packaging it's like a clay it's clay has a lid this is a nude smell and is so nice i can imagine this like in a winter chalet because it smells like wood burning fire but it's like such a delicate beautiful smell it gives me like chalet vibes i am obsessed with figs like obsessed and and this is a new scent from their town house collection if i close my eyes and i smell this i immediately get transported to like beach you know waves palm trees it smells so nice will do 220 hours of burning so it, it will last you like literally such a long time because you don't need to turn it on and just let it you know burn you as soon as you have like this melts that's it like the scent is going to spread and you don't really need to keep it on i am going to take the pomegranate noir for the living room and let me see this i'm going to tell you something i'm not an oud kind of person this candle is called velvet rose and oud oh my god it's so feminine it's so soft and sweet it's so so beautiful and it's so it's soft so i want to smell with pomegranate i mean i've only eaten pomegranate but let's see what Oh my god. Poppy Devana Bar Bergamot. I want to try on the peony and blush suede for the bathroom.
And this is the view of the dining table from the kitchen. And I don't want to turn around the camera this way because this area of the house is not finished. So let's just concentrate on here. I wanna show you the ergonomics of this table. So as you can see, it's pretty clean cut. I love the fact that we can even see the palm trees on the floor. It's all about bringing the, it, the outside inside. So as you can see, it's just a piece of tree trunk, very organic inside with a crystal top on it. I love how this makes it feel like it's part of nature, only that we are inside. And I would love to keep this same feeling the first thing I'm thinking about are chairs. You have these very old school chairs that have these studs here. These are the chairs that originally are meant for the dining table. If you can see, these are the chairs that I'm talking about. They are really, really neat, really pretty. They just have a really cool art deco design and i think that it looks really cool if we just mix them in this table here as you can see when you walk into the house the dining table it's one of the main focal points of what you see and i feel that even though it's such a beautiful and wide space it needs to be more feminine. It's a little bit masculine right now. We need to add some feminine touches. So I think that some flowers in the middle of this table, a permanent arrangement would look so beautiful. I picked up three of these vases to fill up with flowers and just place them in the middle of the table uniformly in order to create a balance i got three hydrangeas per vase and in total they are nine hydrangeas they came very long this stem was really when i first bought them the stem was very long and i had to measure it what you want to do is that you want to put it in the vase but you want to make sure that it's not too short i wanted it to fall just right on the edge so I cut all three branches in the same length and this is how they look. You want to position them like this. This looks so beautiful. This is bouquet number one. Now that the flowers are on the table, you can see that it looks like a more feminine, more balanced and beautiful, inviting spot. I really, really love to place an arrangement, not just once, but you want to have a pattern. You have want to have a continuity of things. So you, I always use sets of three when especially when i'm going to do like center tables or if i'm going to be dressing up shelves so yesterday i went to the joe malone store and i picked up these things and they are going to scent my home in the most beautiful way can we please talk about the packaging because it's so beautiful i'm definitely going to be using this box for something because it's just gorgeous this packaging is just stunning let's see what they put in here i really love this the way that they do the gross grain ribbon around the box this is the velvet rose with oud oh my god look at this packaging how beautiful you can get a little bit overwhelmed if you don't know what the different essential oils smell like but you guys this experience at the store where you go and they help you choose 
the scents for your home i loved it it made it so easy this candle right here will burn for 45 hours and i want to read to you what it says it says wrapped with smoky oud spiked with clove decadent with praline it's really such a luxurious smell you just have to try this you're gonna have to trust me on this one this is beautiful yes this is the diffuser the greater number of reeds used the more intense the scent allow 24 to 36 hours for fragrance to diffuse fully enjoy your scented decorative statement for up to four to five months this one is the pomegranate noir and i'm thinking of putting this either in the entrance or somewhere in the living room kind of like the midpoint to really um, occupy the space on the first floor let's see how it goes i'm going to see how much if i need two of these on the first floor and i will definitely let you guys know how that goes the third scent that i got is this one this is called the mirror and tonka i like to put this next to my bed when i am switching off for the night i turn off all the lights i make it really dim in there and i turn this on i slide into my pjs and i just unwind with this beautiful smell i also use it when i am sitting down editing or working on my computer i always sit down with a little flower next to me candles and i get my work done this smell is beautiful and i am curious to see how all three smells combined in the home as you walk through the house how they will smell once they are all together oh my god it's so good i love love this taste i i'm going to sit here and i'm going to edit this vlog and how you see that i'm sitting down right now this is how i work i like my space to look really beautiful and inspiring so I always have flowers around i always have a scented candle something that inspires me with the way that the smell around me i think smell is such an important part of your everyday in your home and you should always make sure that the scent around you reminds you of happy moments in your life i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and that you have learned a little bit about me today